Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I welcome you once again to this beautiful program, Understanding Scriptures with Fumi Gracious. And today is a beautiful day already. I am going to be sharing one scripture that has really blessed my life with us today. The book of Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. Revelation chapter 5 verse 12. I came across the scripture at a time of my life when I was actually thinking to identify and find myself. I was um, at that point where I was just a bit confused about the next phase of my life. I wanted to be something. I wanted to be someone, but I also wanted to be sure that it's what God wants me to be, that it is not just what I want to become. It is not just what I like to be or what I have seen other people be, but what I personally also want to be. And this scripture actually came to me uh, and it gave me the a kind of illumination. It gave me that light to be able to know that God has everything in store for me. That God has, has given me all that I need to make life. Scripture says all that we need to make life and godliness. It might look like godliness is tedious. It might look like serving God is tedious. It's difficult, but God has made everything we need to make life available. And that is why I will be tagging today scripture, what you need to make life what you need to make life the problem most times with us as children of god it's not because we don't know we don't know what to do but most times we don't know the how we don't know we don't we don't have the knowledge of how to go about it i want to be this i want to be that but what are the processes what are the procedures you know Things don't just happen. Even God had to go through procedures before he was able to create them, some things and make the world to exist. So there are procedures. And if there are procedures, it means it's not just a mind thing. It means you have to have some things, some endowment to be able to bring those things come to pass. And uh, I have also noticed that most of the problems that we face as individuals, even as Christians, as children of God, it's not just because of the, the demonic influence of the devil. It's most times because of us, personal issues, personal, personal barricades, personal limitation. You know, scripture says we overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimonies. He has already put the, he has already put the devil, Satan, other than our footstool. And it is easy to be able to come against the devil. Scripture says resist the devil and he will flee. It is easy to come against the devil. But how about your own self? Do you, how do you, how do you put yourself on that subjection? How do you do you overcome? I have come to understand that most times, most of the problems we have as children of God is not just because of the influence of the devil. It's not just because of what the devil is doing. It's rather because of what even we ourselves, the problems that we ourselves put ourselves in. You can overcome the devil by the blood of Jesus, by the name Jesus, by Christ Jesus. But how about your own personal self? How do you overcome your personal self? Now let's go to the scripture I talked about. Proverbs, Revelation story, chapter 5, verse 12. Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. And it says, I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be reading the New International Version. It says, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power, to receive wealth, to receive wisdom, to receive strength, to receive honor, to receive glory, and to receive praise. Hallelujah. When I saw the scripture, I was like, all that men need to make life, 
is here. All that men need to make godliness is here. All that you want to be, everything that you want to become, everything that you want God to make you to be, he's here. All the procedures that you need to become what you want to be, to be at that place that God wants you to be, it's all here. The procedure is here. Praise the name of the Lord. And there is nothing else you're looking for when you have power to make something. Do you know, there is this scripture that always come to me like a bomb. This scripture that says, God has given unto us power to get wealth. It is God that gives power to get wealth. So most times when we pray and we say, God, give me money. God, give me wealth. You're almost praying amiss because you need the power. There is, there is something that you need to have. God does not make finished products. That is why he has given unto us the brain, the intelligence, the intellectuals to be able to make what God has created into what we want, into what he wants us to be. So he has given unto us power. You have the power in you. Go and get what you want. God told me, gracious, you have the power. Jesus has received the power for you. So go get it. As long as you're called by the name of Jesus, go get the power. Praise the name of the Lord. Another one is wealth. Oh my God. Wealth. Jesus has gotten wealth for us. He has gotten it for us. He has gotten it for us. And you know, wealth, thank God the Bible says wealth. It didn't say money. It didn't say riches. It didn't say, it didn't say cars. It didn't say houses. Because that is what you are supposed to do. God does not make furniture. God makes trees. It is now left for you to transform the trees, which is what God has made, into a furniture, which is what you want. Praise the name of the Lord. These are the basics that Jesus had already received for us. Power. Wealth, number two. Number three, wisdom. Scripture says wisdom is profitable to direct. Jesus has given us that wisdom to be able to know what to do and doing it. It's not just about you knowing. Wisdom is not, a, is not what we translate it to be these days, which is corny ways. Ways of bypassing procedures and say, okay, you want to get something with a snap of your fingers. No. Wisdom, according to scripture, is knowing what to do and doing it. Jesus has given unto us wisdom. Amen. Another one is strength. Oh, that, 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 that Bible verse made me know that there is a difference between power and strength. There is a difference between you being embodied to do something. And there is... Another thing called the readiness, the emotional readiness, the emotional, the psychological availability, that is strength. For you to want to do something is what strength is. For you to be ready, spirit, soul, body, to be able to do something is what strength is. So most times, it's not just about the bodily, bodily endowment. It's not just about how you how 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 you are comported it is at times about your readiness jesus has gotten that strength for us if jesus has gotten all of this for us it is left for us to tap into what god has made available amen another one is honor oh my god honor god has given unto us honor there is all, most, most, most of the things that we want to be in life comes along with honor, with that word honor. Because that is what, that is what, that is what is known with the word. That is what is known with the people. It's like the signal. It's like the advert. It's, it's like what shows you to your word. It's like what, 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 what reveals you to your word. Oh, no, Jesus has gotten in for us. Another one is glory. That number six. Glory. Glory. We are meant to show forth the glory of God. Scripture says he has called us from darkness into his marvelous light. We are called forth to show that glory. And the last one, which is number seven, is praise. Praise. I am not shocked these things are seven. Because seven always indicates perfection. 
Seven always indicates perfection. It always indicate indicates completion. You know, it always indicates this is the end of it. And the end of it is always a glorious ending. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus has given unto us the power, the strength, the wisdom, the honor, the praise, the glory. You know, and God was ministering all of these things to me and telling me, Gracious, I have given all of these things to you. And I walk on each of this point I have given you and in the case and derive it yourself what I want you to be. These are the things that you need to make life. These are the things to fulfill purpose. These are the things that you need to be what God has called you to be. These are the things that you need to be what God has called you, what God has created you to be. There is a difference between what you want to be with his passion and what God has created you to be, which is purpose. But at that point, when we get to know that there is a difference between the two and we are ready to seek the face of God on God, how do I make a purpose and how do i make my passion work at that point is when we will know that we are working at the right way of god praise the name of the lord so this is the how i just the day i came across the scripture i knew that yes this is it i knew that <laughs> this is all i need this is all i need if you a man and you have glory you have honor you have strength you have power you have wisdom you have praise oh my god you have wealth you have everything you have everything to be complete to be complete in god to be complete in godliness to be complete in every phase of your life in your career in your passion in your in your career in your ministry in your family in your marriage whatever area of your life that you need god to show forth you have all that god wants you to be you have all the elements you have all the pro all the procedural instructions as long as you have these seven things that jesus already received on your behalf that jesus already took on your behalf that jesus already made available on your behalf from the cross of calvary jesus has done it all he has received it all but are you ready to receive him are you ready to receive Jesus into your life and delve into that thing that he has prepared for you? These things are not, Jesus already received it. And he is at the right hand of the Father. And now it is left for us to delve into it, to act on it, to have it, to have it, to have it. Trust me, if you're a man and you have the seven things <laughs> you're fulfilled in life you're fulfilled in life you're fulfilled in destiny and all of these things are not found in the world but they are found in god they are found in the word in the word in the word which is jesus which is the light in the beginning was the word and the word was the god and that word was god i want to admonish you today my dear friends that jesus had made everything available unto you Come to Jesus today. Come to him today. He's ready to have you. He's ready to embrace you. He's ready to have you in between his arms. He's ready to take you back and give you all that you need to fulfill life. All that you need to fulfill purpose. Jesus had made it available. Praise the name of the Lord. And I believe that when we run back to him he would not in any way cast out scripture says if any man comes to him he would not in any way cast out god is not a casting away god he is an embracing god no matter who you are no matter how you are no matter where you are no matter what you are jesus is ready to have you back praise the name of the lord i really hope that this ministry blesses you i hope that today's scripture blesses you even after 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 speaking about the scriptures today i will still admonish us to be closer to the word of god be closer to the word of god if you don't know then there is no how you can be you need to know to be what god wants you to be praise the name of the lord and until i come to your way again i pray that god is going to give unto us the grace he's going to give us the enablement he's going to he's, he's, he's going to ignite into us 
in us that sensitivity to be conscious of his presence to know that the times are drawing near and we need to be closer to the scriptures we need to be on fire for god amen and i tell until i come your way again always know that god loves you jesus loves you jesus loves you jesus loves you more than anything more than you can ever imagine he did not create you to be a waste i always say this god is so busy to just create you for just creating sake. there is a need there is a need for you there is a need for you there is a yearning for you there is a desperation for you there is a plan there is a place you are to feel there is a purpose you are to accomplish there is a reason for your creation and god is not done with you yet until you be all that god wants you to be praise the name of the lord until i come your way again remain ever blessed amen